Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tomb to listen, Tomb of Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, wrong game and wrong channel, actually. Uh, and totally different genres. Uh, we are playing uh, some Red Dead Redemption. And we are just sitting here chilling out on Kerfuffle the Horse. And we are going to sit here and do some fancy things. Nope, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be, we're, we are gonna be fancy today. Oh, oh, hey there, Zynar. Hold on here, let me, let's see, get the thing ready. Yes, Tomb of Redemption. <laughs> uh, someone needs to make a DD and d game called that, the Tomb of Redemption. Ooh, how about where your whole party is a group of criminals and other sorted bad people and they are forced, instead of going into jail, they're forced to go through a tomb or some kind of dungeon specifically for the sake of redeeming themselves. And if they live through it, you know, at, by the end of the thing, uh, by the end of the adventure, they, they are cleansed of their sins, at least from a law standpoint. You know, I mean, from a, from a deity standpoint, that's probably a whole different can of worms there, but... Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, that, that's kind of what it made me think of a little bit, because I think there was something slightly like that within, uh, in actually Tomb of Annihilation that, 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 yeah, that does that, so I thought that was kind of, kind of cool. Hold on. Uh, what's this? Jose. Oh, I'm sorry, Hosea. Let's see. Um... Do, 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 do. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Oh, I guess we're turning the other way. Red Dead, <laughs> Red Dead <laughs> Annihilation. No, that no, that just sounds like uh, that. Ooh, I like that. That actually sounds you know, like TK's. Um, uh, God, what was it? The uh, TPK Theater. That sounds like a good name for a. Um, for s oh oh great uh oh hold on oh oh you're a marked man in the state of Lemoyne what I am I am I am where kerfuffle kerfuffle get back here Oh my god, Kerfuffle! Where are you going? Kerfuffle! Oh, I did not know I was wanted. I did not know I was wanted. Seriously. Oh my god, what was that? What in God's green name was that about? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Well, that was um. Uh, oh, that was a way to start the stream. Anyway, okay. Now we're going back here. Howdy! Wet behind the ears. <laughs> no doubt that. Okay, I guess we are going this way. Hello, hey, gentlemen. Fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. All right, all right. <clears throat> all right, let's see what let's see what good business we can attend to here. No. There, oh, there's a door over there. Can we go through the door? Okay, I have a meeting, yet I can't get into the damn house. What is up with that? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, here we go. Uh, 
Please come in, sir. Okay. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but okay. one hates to be cool. Good luck, man. <laughs> the question of money? <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Hey, childbirth, wow. just the most beautiful miracle on earth. Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Your mom's a monkey. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Yeah, get out of here, jerkus. All right, let's get this over with. You was yeah. quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out. Oh, hold on here. Bizarre, a smug fucker. Okay. Oh, come on. Are you not gonna let me eat? So what she got us do? Let's see. Pulling at the Gray's place. All she right. wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So... We're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm afraid right, of. Then. That is what I'm afraid of. Okay. All right. We're gonna go over here. Take a little, little bit of a shortcut, just a wee bit. And we shake up a shortcut. I don't think that's even a real saying, but that's a saying now. It's a shake up a shortcut. Why I'm putting that in such an accent, I have no idea why. It just sounds, it sounds right. It just sounds right. Let's see here. Let me go. Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? Okay. You're Sorry. not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. Oof. I'll go hide and back if you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. I guess we get to just sit back and enjoy the show. There was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. Oh, oh I'm what a great talker. Uh, I've come from Donegal, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Oh, boy. This is, uh... This is not weird, not strange, not Hamish. shady or anything. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, having it up with them a little bit, that's always a good sign. <clears throat> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. All right. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Oh. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man. <coughs> okay. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Mm. Absolutely nothing to go wrong. Absolutely nothing to go wrong. Ain't getting no. You just know. Here they got these things ready. Okay. Plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, oh boy. it ain't rain. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Oh boy. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born at down matter houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, 
Hey, well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Okay, when I'm going to tobacco plant, God will not be able to see you as easily. Alright. That should do it. Such Sneak on over here. That's good for here. Well, it's not a whole hell of a lot, really. Move, man, move. Okay, we're gonna run on over here. this too. Yep. 
here. And come on, duck. Do something, man. Okay, what? Okay, why? Okay, come on, move, you jerkhead. I can't hide this you dummy. They seem to be taking a while. This is a goddamn mess. Okay. You can actually this eat her. This is what it's up. What a bit. Oh, glad you're having fun. You're done. Oh, yeah, it's your shield. I want them dead. Next. Ah! All right. I see him on the map, but I don't know where, where it's coming from exactly. Oh, it's right here. do that oh oh I see Dude, what are you doing? Move! 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 Go, horsey! Go, horsey! Can I just walk through the bushes? I don't know if I'd call that a party, but it was uh, it was something, all right. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. 
I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Let's see him. Yeah, I think I need sure. to. Yeah, I think I need to because I think there was something there anyway. Right now, into the moonlight. Not the sunset because it's obviously not sunset anymore. Leaving a burned fields or something. Actually, I must might have missed exactly what uh, those they were growing there. So, but whatever it is, it's apparently obviously it's obviously crop that they need. Oh, tobacco. It was tobacco. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, first and foremost, let's see, I'm going to go around here. I don't want to start the mission by accident. Probably It'll probably still happen, but Because the thing I, I want to do. Over some potion whiskey. Like the way I don't need this right now. Of the whiskey. I began to tumble and roar. Wow. Get a little something, something to eat. Being able to grab another, okay. Alright, so. Wow. I'll stick to a moderate diet. I'll drink what I'll deny. Well, let's go and do that. And let's see, let's go ahead and get some sleep. Uh, let's see. Let's us do that, and then we can do more things when we're not doing other things. Looks like we have another quest too, but let's let's go up here. Hello there, Micah. Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. Wow, doubt. Well, Something, you I guess. And the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson <laughs> might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly, but you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. Wow. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parlay? It's a trap. Well, of Polly. course, it's 
probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. We've got to take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Oh, boy. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Uh oh. A little mm. tit for tat. Yikes. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. <clears throat> Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Yeah, tigers, man. We don't need no tigers when we got dragons. <laughs> or something. Okay. Okay, you gonna let me get out. Okay, maybe that's not my horse. No, it is. No, wait. Where's my horse? Where's my horsey? Where's Kerfuffle? There's. Oh, Kerfuffle. Hey, I love you, Kerfuffle. You're my favorite horse, Kerfuffle. Up then, Morgan. Let's go. Then. I already did. Dumb crap. Okay, we are. Um, we are hot to trot and good to go. You know, I've been fighting Combs for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, oh boy. we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Oh, that's not a good sign. Maybe uh. he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. Wow. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Oh my goodness, that scenery, man. Can't you see that, friend? 
I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Oh, boy. And as usual, I don't see anything that could go wrong. Well, nothing at all. So they definitely got some guns on them. <clears throat> Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. Oh, boy. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? I had a feeling. I saw that coming a mile away. got a sense <clears throat> handing them over to the lords i don't know strange times they killed Seamus. fuck the whole lot of them with this fella colin right we can draw them all back true <laughs> where'd call him and pack he's escaping shoot him oh did i kill you oh not yet <laughs> no of course not <laughs> not yet but I will. Oh, boy. Ah! This isn't good. He shot up and he's uh, being taken somewhere. Oh, That's Ellie. fantastic. Put his weapons over there. Himself. Arthur Morgan. It's good. 
good to see you. Uh, hello, Gomp. <coughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <coughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. But why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh boy. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Oh boy, is this going to be the beginning of the end? Maybe. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Gunpowder? What in the world are you putting gunpowder in there for? Thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Go, go, go! What's going on here? We're supposed to be holding Morgan. 
No, Gerfuffle. No, oh, howdy, howdy. Yeah, it is. It's, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun game. And we are clearly not in a good state right now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Gotta turn this way. Oh, oh, it looks like uh, we passed out. Yeah. Passing out from the pain. Good thing. Good thing. At least we're Arthur. home, Arthur. so to speak. Uh, I told you it was just up to us. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed! You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. You're safe now. That's pretty, it does. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. Oh, it's all good, man. It's all okay, good. Mr. Morgan. And thank you very... Thank you, thank you very kindly, sir. You sound like a good person yourself. <laughs> All right. All right. So it looks like we must be in a state of of dreamage. A few weeks later. Woot. Well, presumably he doesn't die. At least not yet. I mean. Yeah. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. Whew. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, boy, yeah. I need to. I need to do a little bit of that shaving <laughs> down on the sides. Woo! Kind of like trim some of that up. Have replaced. Have replaced your stolen weapons. They are at, on your saddle. Okay. Good. 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 So what I'm gonna do? Go over here. Where is my? Oh, there's my shaving kit. We'll do that. This is my first time uh, playing through, although I have had uh, like a couple of sessions ago, I did have some people um, try ruining some of the sword for me, so that's that's great, you know. But basically, yeah, short answer is, yeah, uh, first time playing. First time playing. Um, okay. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do. Okay, he does not look good with a mustache. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. All right, so. Okay, yep, we, well. Oh, wow, yeah, his hair is. All right, wow, okay. I just noticed the, his hair is pretty long, too. Okay. Right. Arthur. Hello there, Mr. Trelawney. Busy, Arthur? Maybe. Hold on. 
Oh, I see. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Mm. Yeah, yeah have you I'm playing this on PS4 stage? myself. No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I... Although I have... Uh, although I do play stuff on PC as well, but I only have this game on PS4. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me... I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, oh. lead the way and we'll find out. Oh, I'm trying to, case. Okay. Nope, this is not my horse. That is... Wait, so... Talking of men of words, oh. not action. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I don't want that. Nope. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. The things that you want to get always require money. <laughs> that sucks, but yeah. Uh, okay, so, oh, I guess we got to go. Um, but yeah, hopefully you'll be able to get that money soon. Hopefully soon. You sure seem to have got a bow around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. Fair I have enough. A few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things. I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Oh. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. It's I tried a small to mention world it to Messiah, after but all. You know how he is. Um anyway. I'm from this I'm from chasing the pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow. Let me present you with something real. He's a so talk this guy's a talker. Where exactly are we going? Yeah. You know, I'll just pause it. Yeah, uh yeah, I'm from Oregon. I am from Oregon. Uh, which is in the States. Um, yeah. So, and if you're from Russia, yeah, we are quite a ways away from each other. <laughs> we are quite a ways away. <laughs> the train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. A fellow? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Some reprobate. reprobate. That's such a funny word. Re reprobate. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Ah, Bill I'm almost insulted. You a message <laughs> and meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the craze. I thought I'd nab you first. Yes. You did? Okay. Thanks. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Josiah. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work? Um, I have it. I've played Terrible. some of it, Wait, but I haven't played it in forever, though. Invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. I kind of, I, I kind of stopped playing it after a while. The wheel, the but I might pick it up again at uh, some know, point here in the future. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. 
My friend Arthur here has a present for you. I do. I do. Uh, let's see. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Distinction? Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be Josiah. coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, a feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Okay, hold up, hold up. I thought I recognized you. Hello again. I don't want to see if I can pay my hmm, bounty. I thought you were Weird. A little. Weird. I don't have. Why aren't those people attack me if I don't have any bounties? That's that's weird. Farewell. Um. Oh, you're in Moscow. Um. Yeah. For me, it is. Let's see. It would be twelve fifty uh, in the afternoon, which would be what? Was it, what would that be in military time? That would be. 1450? Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, 1450. God, I don't know. I'm not used to talking in military time. <laughs> but yeah, 12 in the uh, afternoon. Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Mount up, then. Let's go. But yep, it's, uh, yeah, but it's, you know, bright, you know, uh... Oh my God! What was it? Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, bright time in the afternoon for us. You know, the afternoon has just started. So yeah, can be. it's all Seems good. A lot of the station workers are in on it these days, earning a pittance. The unions are pittance. whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. Fair Dear enough. Boy. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Unfortunately. So you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. All right. Um, I do, uh, for Red Dead Redemption Online, um, I do play it. Um, I, I mean, I haven't played it in forever, but I do have a character, uh, made, and I did do here some stuff. This is the spot. Yeah, but I've, I've barely played it since it came out of beta, so... Yeah, I'm still probably pretty low level, I think, online. So, yeah. Unfortunate, but... Yeah, I, I don't play this game too, so much. I seem to play no more than, like, once a week when I'm okay. streaming on here. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, You'll never know. Safe sorry. So what were you thinking? Well... According to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and oh, I can file. do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, old and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Well, I mean, I'll do my best, but I, you know, no promises, though. No promises. Ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. 
Don't let them spot you, or you'll scuffer the whole thing. back just a little bit, hang back just a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I already know that. You don't need to try to spoil something that I already know. Awesome, awesome, man. That's awesome. Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I was gonna, oh, darn, I was gonna ask something, but I totally forgot what I was gonna say. And you have this on PS4, you said? You know, we should maybe sometime see if we could, like, do, uh, PS4 friends or something. Alright. Well done, sir! Thank well you, sir! Done. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Yes, teamwork. You go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Hmm. Seven hundred and fifty. Oh, okay. Well, still one hundred eighty-seven. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. But I'm going to take a quick. Pause here and uh, so I can use the restroom, and I will be right back, guys. So, just a minute.
Okay, we are back. We are back. We are back. All right. So what we're going to do? We're going to go in here. Ooh. Was there anything else? I don't think I saw anything else. I mean, I guess there's Winton, Winton Holmes. Oh, is that one of the people I have to go grab for the for getting money? Probably. Probably. Yep. Yeah, we'll probably play a little bit more today, I think. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Don't know if I'm going to be playing yet too much more. I don't know, because usually I play for at least another hour after this. But we'll see how I feel, you know, after 15 or 20 minutes. And then we'll go from there. You're, you're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> If I could run a little bit, that'd be bent. Oh, a short walk and a pretty for you, Arthur. How well, you? Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Whoa! That, that actually scared me a little bit. Okay, I aimed right at him and I shot several times. How did that not hit him? Hit Hunker down, hunker down. Trying to get in, I thought we were okay. Apparently, I was wrong. <laughs> I did something wrong, obviously. I thought I thought I was supposed to go into the house to try to. Okay, 
probably did something completely wrong on that. Last time I attempted to do that, you died. Come on, stop, stop picking. Okay. How do I get off? Get off me. I actually shot him. Oops. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, oh but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight. Oh, you fools. Well, yep, that could have gone better. That could have gone better for sure. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. 
What a goddamn mess we're making of things. Yep. Lovely stuff. Hey. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yep. Yeah, we'll play for a little longer here. Oh boy, we get to go speak to Dutch. Oh boy. Oh, such pretty sun rays. With a little bit of fog mixed in there. We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh, I'm oh boy. Saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them. Oh, boy. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh, suddenly it's nighttime. Okay, boy, that day sure went fast. That, boy back. that day went fast. <laughs> Whoa. That's funny. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah. We just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Badum, bum, badum, badum, bum. I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back, and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? Could I've be. I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! This is going to be a, a little bit of a shootout, I'm assuming. Probably. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. stayed out of all of this. A bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on. Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. 
Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those so sons of bitches. Some kind of asshole, I'm God. sure. I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Who is this? They certainly have a lot of people up there. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Oh! Oh! I was just gonna run for cover. Ah, uh, I was just running for cover too. I was like, yeah, I, I think I need some cover. Clearly. Clearly. Like your face, you're dead. Run. What? Oh, was it that? Oh, sorry. Was it that dude over there on the left that got me? I mean, granted, that was a little close. <clears throat> oh well. Try, try again, I say. Now, now you're sounding like uh, like a true D and D player, just murder hobo everything. Unfortunately, we can't because the the kid we're looking for is supposedly in this house. Okay, I am, jerkhead. Let me get up there. My goodness. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, it's true. Guys over here. in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> what a fine mess, man. What what a fine mess we're all in here. No, reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Oh. I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Oh, I guess, you know, well, hey, you were right. The place is on fire. Holy crap. <laughs> Zainar the Prophet. <laughs> yep. You you got what you, you got your wish. The place is going down in flames, or going up in flames. You know, I almost feel bad for her. I almost feel bad for the lady. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> wow, man. I know. Absolutely murder hobo. Wow, man. Wow. 
That, no joke, man. That was actually kind of intense. That was actually pretty intense. Wow. Wow, man. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Oh, boy. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Oh, boy. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and live oh, sweet in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk Dutch just you in that case it'll be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend <laughs> should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. That discussion went well, I say. Quick. <laughs> Any ideas? I mean, no one died. I big old house. Yet. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Well, time to move Come again. On, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot. Follow me. I know the way. All it's right. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. 
We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too, too many. many. I was just going to say too many. playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from That's where true. we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to is close to San Denis. All right, should be just down this path to the left here. Now, as I was saying, as soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Lenny found it. Big old run-down plantation house. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. Yeah. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. All right, let's do it. Oh, shit. It's them again. Boys! Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watching. One. Out here. All right. I mean, I guess I could have let him go, <laughs> but yep. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you. Come and find me there. I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. 
Jesus. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Wow, dude. Wow. You think you're tough, Yankee? Come in here and fight me like a man. That's it. How about we fight? We want to eat. I'm going to skin you, you white trash maggot. Come on. Why would let me pull my gun? I don't know. How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Alright, let's see. Let's head downstairs. I guess I am going around. Come on. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow that's me. That's sure, that's fair. That's fair. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, it's the house is a real beauty. <laughs> I mean, it's a little gross, a little run down. I mean, this is like the, the it's almost 1900, so yeah. It's a sploosh. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Got the mill. Okay. Oh. Okay, so they're all upstairs. Okay. Oh, so that body that was in the corner must have just got up and walked away. And now that he's on the floor, I don't know how he got on the floor, but... Who knows? Who knows? Video game logic. You gotta love it. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe I can... I... Nope. I was gonna say, if I can maybe dump, them, dump the body over... Um, over the railing and then do the rest with the others and now I can just run downstairs. Kind of make it clean and simple, but apparently not. Oh, so we wouldn't have to do all of them. Okay. All right, that'll work. That'll work. I have a feeling we're getting we're closing in on the end of the uh, of the story here. We got fine living. Know the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come on. George. Yes. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. 
Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not nope. quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Oh boy. Oh, it's uh and it's really industrialized here. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. Looks lovely. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, Saint-Denis. Saint Saint yeah, Saint-Denis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, settling feuds. Oh, yeah. Alright, sweetness. Well, I do think that is going to be the perfect spot to actually end this particular game session. We had quite an interesting... Uh, Quite an interesting adventure, uh, setting houses on fires, you know, clearing houses, dumping bodies in swamps, among other things. So, yeah, in that end, everyone, I want to say thank you for everyone who joined and, and talked with me. And, you know, Zynar, since he's here, you know, modding for me and everything, and, that's, and that is awesome. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, you will be able to find me here. Hold on. Better pause that real quick. Yeah, you can find me... Uh, on the Twitterverse, uh, under Daquan Game Army, all one word, and you can also find me, you know, here on Twitch, it's Daquan Gaming, uh, and you can also find me under Daquan Gaming on Facebook and YouTube as well. So, in that end, guys, thank you so much for joining. Um, I will see you guys next time, and uh, we'll see you guys later. See you guys. <laughs>